Thank you guys for tuning in. Whoever's going to tune in when you tune in. If you see this on the replay, cool. I'm Brother D, and she is Casey. See Stacy. Casey. 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 Lord have mercy. You know what? This is it's all about the... doing great. <laughs> it's, um, you know, it's okay. It's one of those nights. No. And, 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 and... <laughs> it's one of those nights. But anyway, no, seriously. Oh Lord! You know, to everyday things that happen to Christians and their life, and in relationships, Amen. And um, you know, uh, Casey and I, you know, uh, we we met on IG. We met, you know, we she and I met on IG. Um, she was saying some funny things, so I uh, I, I jumped on her line, and then I, you know, I... <laughs> you jumped on my line, and you were trying to bait me, and I didn't take it, and I was so grateful i was like yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, um i'm notorious for uh for picking with people that's that's what always gets me though case like a lot of a lot of people uh feel like that um like when it comes to our show that we're not we, we don't have like people on we don't really, i was like no i said i talk to everybody I, mm -hmm. you, you you know you know i get yeah. your air full right yeah <laughs> get your air you know, some people just don't reach out or, you know, or, or they're trying to give me instructions. But anyway, so we want to talk about have this ever happened to you, things that happen in life and, and how we supposed to really handle them as Christians. You know, um, uh, I do want to um, I am going to bring up uh, some things that, you know, from the Bible, because I don't want to act like we're not we're not Christians because we are. We are believers in Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, some of us are just a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. She gave me a trouble already. How? How? Because no, no. this whole because we're talking about different types and how you're supposed to be. How? I'm not gonna get you in trouble. You're gonna be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. I know. No, but um, in all seriousness, um, you know, uh, just thinking about uh, some things that may have happened in your life and in, in my life and how and how we handle them. Um, you know, last time we were on, I, uh, I had um, brought up some things about my mom and how I handle uh, things with my sisters, who how the Lord dealt with me and handling them because I was handling my, my sisters a certain way. I was how I would talk to I would talk. Were you hard? Were you hard on them? Um, I was I was hard in my judgment. I, w I was judging them from a perspective of like you know you don't know Christ, you know you don't know Christ and I have to get I always talking to them from a from a standpoint of you got to clean yourself up and stop treating me like this opposed to giving them Christ and letting them be conformed. So I mm -hmm. was like really I kept the I kept the ball rolling the and I don't mean the godly ball I'm talking about the anger ball rolling because I'm feeding them what they want. They, I'm feeding them a fight. You know what I mean? If they want to fight, then why am I like, and you know, you're not going to have me. You ain't going to do this to, to the people of God. And I'm this, or I'm that. And um, of course this was years ago, you know, <laughs> but what I'm saying. But that's well, the saying, stereotype of Christian people. Yeah. 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 That's it's, your it's, yeah. And I'm saying, has this ever happened to you? But, you know, this mindset had happened to me. That mindset that I'm, you, that, you know, I'm right, you're wrong. And, you know, my church is the church and your church ain't, they don't flow like we flow. We got all this mess going on, you know, sometimes. Mm -hmm. And and it's every it's anything but God. And if, and if you read uh, St. John chapter uh, three, right? And the one thing, this is the one thing that uh, we miss uh, that I missed. I, I put it like this. I don't want to offend no one, but um, that I miss uh, uh, that that happened in my life was basically is that I wasn't one. I wasn't giving them Christ. Two, here it is. I'm I'm, I'm pulling it up now. Thank whosoever believe in him is not condemned, but whosoever believeth not stands in condemnation already. Because they have not believed in the name of God, one and only Son. In other words, so they were they were already being condemned by me because basically I was how I was coming at them. 
sometimes we're, we're talking to people as if they know the Lord. That's, that's mm-hmm. the whole point I was trying to get out from, from St. John three sixteen and um, through 18. Sometimes um, condemnation is, is actually preaching about their deeds, telling them what their deeds are. And, and the Bible says that they, re, they run, people run from God because their deeds are being exposed. So they, you know, those who love the darkness, you know, they, cause they, cause they love the deeds that they do. So mm-hmm. every time if I sit there and keep telling them, if I walked up to you and said, Hey, Casey, you're smoking. Why are you smoking? If I, you know what I mean? The Lord doesn't like smoke. Instead of just saying, Hey, how you doing? And, and you blowing your smoke. So ignore the smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we we sometimes gravitate to what we're seeing, you know, in mm-hmm. people. And that's what I was doing with my sisters. I was gravitating to what I was seeing and what I was experiencing from them. Instead of just loving them and loving them past that moment, mm-hmm. I was condemning them for what they were doing. Did I you think it was your them. job? Did you think it was your job, though? Exactly. exactly. I thought it was my job to say things to them for them to stop doing what they were doing mm. for you not cursing me out stop getting smart with me stop stop throwing my stuff away you know how brothers and sisters are stop throwing my stuff away that in the trash stop you know taking my food out the refrigerator putting it leaving it on the table like, like stupid stuff that that family do to each other and a lot of things were just natural things some things were attacks but i still was concentrating on it opposed to giving Christ. So I would, you know, I, I'm telling them, hey, you know, you know, you can't mess with the people of God. And, you know, you go through that whole, you know, righteous indignation oh, thing that you get, yeah, you know, yeah. like, you wrestle with the people of God. And I wasn't really concentrating on loving them. Loving mm. them out of their, loving them out of their mess. Because you know that's, what I mean? what, that's what we're taught by, that's what we read in the Bible. We're supposed to love them. We're supposed to do this. We're not supposed to to yeah how i always feel that christians always it's their job and if you're not then they just bash you sometimes and and not yeah. thinking that no that's not what the bible says that's not what god teaches that's not what jesus was yeah and and, and that's what i was courting man I, I was courting bashing my sisters all the time about what they were doing to me you know mm-hmm. what i mean you don't you're not treating me right you know you're not treating me right and one thing we have to understand if if they are sinners or even if they are carnal that's what they do carnal means i'm gonna serve after carnality i'm going to get mad at you some things are remember some things i do believe are attacks but i i think that some things are just family stuff and it looks yeah. like it's amplified because now that i'm saved and i'm seeing it for what it's really for and then i'm going oh the devil's attacking the devil's attacking on the left and on the right Oh, I'm, you know what I mean? You know, you, you got to hold me up in prayer and, and you doing all this, re- all this religious antics opposed uh-huh. to really doing the real stuff. And that's loving them. Like Jesus told us with the uh, satirian soldier, you know, if, if they actually carry, carry the, their, their, um, their shield one mile, go two, go another mile. You know what I mean? They, yeah, they, they, they using you, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. we got to go the extra mile. And sometimes we are, we have gotten so, I, a lot of us has gotten so away from it, far from it, because I know I'm telling from I'm talking from experience that we that we are, we are becoming um, of little use in the kingdom. I'm not saying you're not mm-hmm. saved. I don't get into all that. Who saved? Not saved? No, no, no. Don't ever believe that. We're bought, we're, we're bought and paid for by the blood. Period. Period. And I, I you know, yeah. I don't get into all that. Uh, well, you you did ten things. You're not saved no more. The Bible doesn't tell us that well, at all. It doesn't tell us that, and we we talked about this. There is no level of sin. It, it it there is no level of sin, and that's so confusing to me because people be like, "Oh, you did you going to hell?" Well, I'm sorry if you do this and you don't repent. The same thing, you know. Yeah, same same thing. Yeah, ro- rolling your way. Yeah. So 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 um for those who if have it ever happened to you, let us know. You can I mean put put your stuff in here if you want to um. Even if you want to jump on, you know, I, I was going to try to pull people in, but you know what? I ain't touching this. I ain't touching the system tonight. <laughs> I'm going to let it roll. I, I was going to try to pull people in, but nevertheless. But yeah, but, but go ahead. But, but Case, you know, you, you always tell interesting stories. Tell me. Uh- so I've talked to you about my family and different things. And kind of the same situation, I realized because anybody, when they, I've always had a relationship with God. Now, whether or not mm-hmm. it's, 
the type of relationship you have or someone else or in the church. And I don't, I, I don't want to be judged on how my level of relationship with God. But mm-hmm. I always, I don't know, I guess I would feel once I was proven right or certain things and I felt justified, I had to mm-hmm. do those things, say with my mom and be like this. And, that. and she's like, you always just get so justified instead of realizing that hmm, that's her. You have to love them for who they are, just like they have to love you for who you are. And that's basically what God teaches us. So that's kind of how I got it where I was just like, you know, I'm not going, I'm going to just sit back. Let me, let me not run my mouth, even though I can run my mouth. Let me, let me just let it, let it be sometimes. And so that's the last, like, I think six months I've been trying to do that more and more. Um, I'm trying to think of, so I know one thing, this, this, and this worked out in my favor. So work. Work, when you work for the government in different things, it's a lot of politics involved. And it's a lot of people trying to climb up the ladder, people who are stay there with Jesus or, you know. It was this situation where I got this email from this person. And all I did, I simply asked them a question. Asked them a question. And they came back in the email and cc like 16 people. And it was, it was really embarrassing, not for me, for them, because they were like, what did they say? They said, first things first. When you, this was a male addressing first things first. And I'm like, this man has told us that he goes to church. He does all this different things. And, but it's not even about that. It's just simple human being, you being a human being and how you would talk to mm-hmm. someone. And yeah. me, I get real. I'm, I'm going to let you know I get real. And something just told me, I was like, you know what, don't react in that way. And I was just like, you know, sir, I was like, I'm sorry you feel that way. Um, but, you know, I did take those steps and I talked this and I CC'd everyone. I was pulled into a meeting and they were like, we are so happy you handled it that way. Because a lot of people yeah. wouldn't have handled it that way. It would have been a situation where y'all would have been in HR. But when you get into different environments and you get to know yourself, you have to be like, look, sometimes people just going through something. Let me just chill out. Yeah. No, no, you're, I don't you're, you're think right. That no, you know you, I go you, off you, of the No, you you're right. I mean, that's part of our culture as as African Americans. We we do, <laughs> we do no, I'm just We're storytellers. We're storytellers. Yeah. We use the hands. <laughs> Yeah, you, we always do it. But you know what? I, I want to read the scripture over again because I want to give clarity on the scripture that I read. And I said, it says here that he that he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is already condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son. Verse 19. And this is condemnation that the light cometh into the world and men love darkness rather than night because their deeds were evil. So we got, we have light and we have darkness. And the reason why people don't like hearing their deeds is because that when the light is shined on them, they retract. Mm-hmm. But if we would just, if we, if we, but see the difference is we supposed to preach the light. What is the light? The good news of the kingdom that Jesus came to save us, that we all were born into sin. Not that mm-hmm. I'm gonna sit on the corner and point out your sin and point out mm-hmm. your sin. I'm going to preach that the Lord loves us all and that we all were hell bound. And when, and, when, we, when we, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and like a, a, a judgmental uh, way, judging people for the things that we see. That's low hanging fruit. As I said before, if I see you smoking, I'm saying something about mm-hmm. that. If I see a man in a dress, I'm saying something about that. If I see somebody, uh, uh, you know, um, being a bully or stealing, I'm, I'm putting that out to them while I'm witnessing. But the Lord is saying, well, whether they stop that one thing or not, they at the end of the day, they still need Jesus. Because mm-hmm. I can. So why do we I, feel? Why do we feel the need to judge themselves? Why is it? Because my, I think sometimes it's people. You and you, it always seems the people who are saved and find themselves. And I think it. I think it's maybe they have the insecurity of themselves. Like, for instance, like you have the mother and the daughter and the mother and daughter go through a tumultuous relationship. And the mom was like, because I see so much of myself 
in her. Yeah. You know, yeah. is it like why do we feel the need to then go to stranger? Like you're doing this, you're gay, you're doing it. Why? Because we're, we're self righteous. We become self righteous. Uh, remember, so 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 sometimes, um, sometimes what we're doing is we're acting like we, we're learning. See, when we learn about Christ, he he, Christ is like our come up friend. So he pulls us up. We start to feel like, oh man, you know, we we, we feel just we're justified. We renew it free, and all of a sudden, because people because we start to learn about conduct. See, once you get saved, that's when the conduct start teaching is supposed to start like you know you, you know as christians this is this is how we live this is what we do but we try to project that on people who are not in the kingdom you mm -hmm. get what i'm saying so if i gave you rules how can i give i can't give you my rules i only can give you the door and jesus is the what the door he is the bread of life so the only thing i really can give you is jesus I can't, okay. I can't come in and start, I can't come in, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, shouldn't be doing that. Oh, this is that. The Lord is witness those the same, walk that I Exactly, exactly. My, my, my rules are not your rules because you're not in the kingdom. So mm -hmm. we have to, we have to be cognizant of that. But even when we're talking to somebody who even may be in the kingdom, some people are, are at different stages and they, and they are, they may just got saved or or they just may, you know, be doing whatever. I, I don't know. I don't want to say what they, what they are doing or not doing. But sometimes we sometimes remain in a certain state where we like to do certain things. And mm -hmm. as your brother in Christ, um, to me, I really feel like you should either be led to talk to them. You know what I mean? You should be led to talk to them. Or sometimes if somebody is doing something overt, then you can be like, yo, bud, you know, man, we better than that, man. Hey, come on, man. What's up? Let me pray for you. You know what I mean? Try to get in and let the light get to them. See, only the light, which is Jesus Christ, can mm -hmm. change people. The Holy Spirit job is to convict, to com convict and to convince people. That's that's his job. So we it's do it our job we to show you his love. It's our job to show you that he's there, that he's possible. But it's not. But, but Jesus does the rest. It's not our job to condemn you. Yeah, it's exactly. We're, we're, we're the pageantry. Yeah, we're, we're the pageantry. We're, we're the ones God is showing off. Hopefully you can show us off, right? And we're, we're, we're walking through. And that's why he even said to Israel, he said, hey, Israel, look, I'm going to do this for the Gentiles that they, I may provoke Israel to jealousy. So I'm going to do some things for the Gentile that Israel may come back to me. You know what I mean? But he's showing you like like all the things he's doing for them, how he's blessing them how he's being a daddy to them. You know what I mean? So so we if we can just be um obedient to love people and do what we're supposed to do, it'll be you know, it'll be you know, I think it'll work out better. But right now what it is, we we're in front of people. We we got two things mixed up. There's legislation and preaching the gospel are two different things. So even though I don't want certain things legislated in my area like um I may not want a um uh the the bathroom shared with other people you get what i'm saying yeah but that's not sharing the, but people will mix that with, with preaching the gospel they'll say you know in in, in, in in the godly nation we wouldn't have all this it's like you know and they'll be on the corner preaching that you can't preach that on the corner i can't be on the corner preaching come out the bar come out you know come out of here come out of there come out of that so, because that's not the gospel the gospel is about okay. jesus christ and that's where I think where we we fall at legislation and my and my views, even my 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 biblical views are my biblical biblical views, but we have to be in a place of of preaching the gospel first. That you know the world was lost. This is Jesus Christ. Now God may unction you to say something while you're talking to someone one on one, just like He did with um. Look, look at the woman courting adultery. You know, um, Jesus. You know. What's the first thing happened with her? We see it in the scripture. We see her go. She's brought before and said she brought before, you know, everyone. And, and, and they say, hey, Jesus, she was courting adultery. And mm -hmm. then Jesus, Jesus said to her, the first thing he said to her was what? He said, look, he said, look around. He said, where are your accusers? So that means that there was no more accuser. He, and then he says, um, they're not here to judge you. He said, and neither am I. So therefore, he had, so their first thing he did was forgave her, right? And then he said, "What? Go your way and sin no more." 
So the first thing he dealt with was forgiveness. forgiveness. He forgave her. And then he started talking about her character. Then he said, go your way and sin no more. So, but we preach it backwards. We say sin no more and come yeah. to Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and, I don't, and, I, and I think that's backwards because it's like, how are you trying to get people in off the street and you're showing yeah. them a, a bad side? They're not going to come. That's why Jesus was like, listen, I love you. I love you. Yeah. So now, let's, and that's, and, and I kind of think that if you take it, Think about with your children and you're teaching them in school or preschool. Mm -hmm. When a child does something, you're like, listen, the first, before you go, you know, you're like, listen, this isn't the way. This is how you do it. You have to show them. You have to teach them. You can't just sit there and, and then yell at them. So, sorry. Yeah. We're getting things mixed up. We're getting legislation mixed up with things. We have the clip up. It's a clip of a young girl and she gets in front of a preacher and she says, how am I to deal with my sister? She says, how am I to deal with my sister? She said, um, here go another sister thing, right? She says, my sister is become, she's become transgender, right? So the preacher says to her, you know, there's, a, you know, there's an X, you know, chromosome, there's, a y, there's an XY and the YX chromosome. He, he starts to explain you know, like physiology, like, 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 our nature, how, how we how we're constructed. And mm -hmm. I'm saying, okay. And I'm listening to him and, and he's breaking it down. Like she was like, oh my God. And she was like like one of them little sisters who always crushed, you know, how do I deal with her? And and I'm looking and I'm going, okay. And I said, and and, and he so he so the preacher breaks down. I wish I could pull that up. Jesus. The preacher breaks it down and he says to her basically this. He says, he breaks down and tells her. We're diff We're not made like that. There's no such thing as, you know, as um uh as a trans. There's no. There's no. There's no such thing as that. And he breaks it all the way down. And he tells. And he so he tells her the natural side of things. Like this is what it is. And so when I heard that, I said, I said it. It goes back to what we're talking about right now. Uh, Case. She's trying to preach what the lady is. What her sister is doing. Right. She's not talking about Christ at all. She see we see things and we instantly gravitate to it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, he got he, you know, a man over there. He got on lipstick. Oh, let me go over here and tell him God's not pleased. I'm like, God's not pleased with sin. Period. Sin is period. separated from period. God. And it says that God died for the world. So instead of us going over there and looking, because we always that's see all that does is start a fight. And that's why she can't reach her sister because she's so mm -hmm. busy trying to address her what she feel is she's doing wrong. You know Instead what I mean? of her saying, I love you, I, I don't understand. I can't say that I understand what you're going through. I can't, but I love you. And this is the only thing that I can do to show you, you know, Instead, but, yeah. when, when you know somebody is really caught up on something like that, there's nothing in your strength that can change that. So the only thing that we really can do is, is really give them Christ and be like, yo, come on to church with me and ignore it. Ignore it. Yeah. Not like, like it, it, you, you know, it's like a kid who, who falls out in, in the grocery store and they walling all over the ground. And sometimes you, we want to get, we want to jump down there and get with them. You know how we are as, as no one. <laughs> as black yeah. But yeah. Sorry. when you walk, when you walk away from them, don't leave them too far. You know how that goes. But anyway, yeah. they get they look like, hey, where the mama did go? They get up, they run behind you. But the whole thing is that you you're trying to fight a fight that you cannot change. That's a spiritual fight. You should be praying for them. You should be loving them. You should be letting them know. But we want to fight them. So then we start setting up rules. Oh, well, you can't live in my house if you dress like that. Oh, you can't come around me if you dress like that. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? And we start doing all these things in order to change them. But you can't change and that, them. And that drives them further away. Why do I want to be a part of your church? Why do I want to be a part with God when you acting like this? Is that how he's going to treat me? Exactly. And and see, and that's the part we miss. We're, we're not, and see, 
so when God says to us in Isaiah 53, he says, all ye, he says, come, come and eat, come. He, he said, hey, look, come freely drink, freely eat. He never said who couldn't come. But we have made these parameters where we're, where we're blocking. Now, mm -hmm. the problem is, is that when, once, we, once we start to, a lot of that don't come until once we get inside the kingdom. They have, people have to get saved as is. If God leads you to say something to them about something that they're doing, then you do it. Because the real, the real, this is the real thing. Once again, we are, it, it, it's, the, um, it's the ongoing theme. No matter what they're doing, the real problem is that they're separated from God. Mm -hmm. That's what the real problem is. So, and, and that's the one thing that I couldn't do. Now, God will lead you to say stuff to people at times. I understand that. But a lot of times we're looking for low hanging fruit. And low hanging now, fruit, I, I just mean. You huh? said separated. I have a question. You said separated from God. Do you think that's possible when you're in the kingdom? Because I yeah. feel, yeah, I feel personal that some things that even if, you know, you're up there and you're talking, you're all this, but there's no way, there's no way that you can be right because of the yeah, things well, that you're feeling. Yeah, but because our flesh is dead. And so we become, we become dull of hearing. Our hearing becomes dull because we start putting in more of, we start looking at the um the do's and the don'ts and applying them to people they shouldn't be applied to, or even if they were applied to, to some people that they could be applied to, like people who are saved and, and who have been in, in in the gospel for years. But the problem mm -hmm. is, is that we're not we're not having an ear to God. Sometimes God would just say, "Hey, if you just you know you know fast, but you know one day a week for this for this person, you'll see a change." Or if if He said, "You know, just keep on loving them, keep on loving them," just like He did with us. Sometimes us, a lot of us, we didn't get saved for years, you know, mm -hmm. and, and God has been. And then when you look back, you see all the time when God was wooing you, pulling you in. Like, come on now. Come on. He, he loving on you. He, 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 he pulling you in. And we, we keep wanting to see something hard happen to people. Like, see, that's why that happened. You know, God going to get him. I said, we have the wrong mindset. <laughs> and I, yeah, I'm serious. We had a wrong, because we had a wrong mind. Know, but it is. That's how we all because I, I I hear it all the time or when I'm on IG. All the time, yeah. Father, yeah. And they said, oh, God, they going straight to hell. They go, how do you know? How do you know, Sway? Yeah, Did they tell you yeah, that? Exactly. Yeah, and, and sometimes when, when we do that, and so God, when I say God straight had to straighten me out, he had to straighten me out. He had to let me know, like, whoa, man, ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute. Go ahead and pray for them. That's why we don't we don't get the story. We really don't get the story of Jonah. We always like, yeah, God had to put him in a fish, and we just love it. And we rocking, and I'm like, you know what? I said Jonah represents you when you don't want to share Christ. You yeah. want to see Jonah wanted to see them die, so Jonah said, instead of go to them, I'm gonna go very far away from them. So by the time. God do tell me to go back. I, I'll be too late and, and judgment to come down and strike him and everybody be happy. So Jonah was angry. Yeah, we we, we see it all the time. And it's a shame. And especially with our families. And I can just say from personally, because yeah. again, I think we talked about this before, you know, you sit around the round table at the family dinners, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and you talk about people who aren't there, or you place your number, or you should have did this. And I was, I let me tell you, I did it, and I had to take a step. Be like, this isn't just because I understand what's right and wrong. I can't judge them. I don't know what's in. I don't know what's in their head. I don't know what walk of life they're going through, and I just can't keep spewing my expectations or or what I would do because I'm in a different place. Yeah, yeah. So 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 the Lord, so the Lord. That's why um. I was telling the friends of mine, I said, I said, well, I know how the Lord deal with me. So I'd be like, you know, I just keep my mouth shut when it comes to things. I'll be like, all right, Lord, what you want me to say to this person? And I go in and I say it, and, and you know, or what you want me to do with this person? Sometimes, a lot of times, it's just say, hey, yeah, you, you go over there and buy him this. Hey, go over there and do this. For and because remember, you know, God gives the increase, you know. And you sometimes know, he'll tell you to leave him alone. Sometimes he'll yeah. tell you, you can love him, but you gotta, you gotta, you just gotta leave him alone because it's not gonna bring the best out in you daily when we have friendships we're called like and, we, and we're two i'm dealing with two, i'm talking about two christians right now like we're called to be examples like first got married uh years ago this guy worked his name i'm gonna say his name was e all right 
he 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 was a he, yeah i i worked in i worked in a lab you know um you know doing centrifuging and and building loads with 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 human poop and all that other stuff and um this gentleman he was always mean to everybody he come in they'd be like hey e he be like hmm and this and keep walking and he was tall like me you know i'm a tall you know i'm tall too he and I are the same height. Like, we want to talk to him more. I'd be like, hey! And actually, yeah. I have a story for you on the Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, he, so he's, he's mad with everybody, right? I'll make it really fast. So he's mad with everybody. And every, and so um, what I would do with him, because I, like I like to throw like little zinger jokes at people, I would say jokes to him. Or I would just walk by. And, and like when he would walk by, I'd be like, yo, blah, 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 blah. And he would and he would bust out laughing. So he couldn't like maintain his grill. Like he couldn't maintain the, the, the persona. And so mm -hmm. little by little, so he and I became, you know, eventually we became friends on a job and everything. And um, he still was doing what he was doing. Sometimes I remember they somebody broke into my car and he had gave me a ride and um uh for like a week while I got my my uh my door repair. And uh that was back in the day, yeah. But um, but nevertheless. One day I was home and um, I wasn't working at Smith Klein no more. I had, uh, left the job and he came and I had a, knock, a knock on my door. And you know, black folk, we looking at the window like, who? <laughs> Who's that? Well, you knock too hard. I'm not answering. Yeah, it, it, exactly. You know, you don't do no drive bys at nobody black house anyway. <laughs> and it was him. And he had this girl with him. And this is what he said to me. He said, hey, man. He said, I want you to meet my fiance. He came by the crib. I said, hey, yo, what's up, man? He said, how you been? You know, he said, I just want to let you know. I got saved because of you. He said, out of all the time, uh, he said, out of all, no um, matter how evil I was, you kept in it. And he think it was me. I said, no, it was Christ in me, bro. That was, the, Christ was breaking him down. It, he seen Christ because why? I'm just throwing jokes in his ear. I'm talking about God sometime. And he know, he know I'm a Christian. And, um, you know, we just would just bust out and we would be cracking up at work. And we think that, oh, God, I can't be around this person. He got a spirit. That person got a spirit. I can't go over here. And it's like, just love them. And here he is. He shows up my house after a year after I left the company and say, mm -hmm. I want you to I want you to meet my fiance because because of you, I met her. And we and we got to, and, and, and it's so funny, like we. See, it's not, we think that the gospel is not enough. It's enough. I, when I was, I was his come up friend. He seen Christ in me. He seen me living a life. So when he seen it, he seen it was all right. Like, well, he still play around. Oh, he don't seem like he weird or he, even though I do, I, I believe in laying on hands. I, you know, I, I, I you know, I pray, in, I pray in tongues. I, I'm, I'm one of them guys, but I'm not, I never tried to be weird. The, mm -hmm. the thing that's supposed to be weird about us is the fact that we love you when you when we when people do us wrong. That should be the weird exactly. thing. Not but yeah, for example, like it is, it's like that. So mine was she. She's not my friend. She she probably she just can't stand me. <laughs> this lady, I called my mom because I used to have my yard. I used to have dogs, and you can get a company to come and scoop the poop. Yeah. And this one lady who was there, her name, let's just say her name was Mary. Because mm -hmm. she was so surly, just so nasty. And I would speak to her and she wouldn't speak back or the dogs, you know, the dogs started barking. Da, 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 da. But I, and I wanted to flip out, but I was like, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on to, to her. So she texted me one day and she was like, I can't come to your day for the dogs because I'm sick. And I said, no problem. I hope you get better. Are you okay? So the next time I saw her, I opened my window from my office and I screamed out and I said, Hi, are you feeling better? <laughs> there is absolutely no reason for you to speak to me. <laughs> and, I like, and I in my head, I was like, I'm gonna speak anyway. And I, and I said it to her, I said, Well, when you come into my yard, I'm gonna speak to you anyway. Have a great, great day. And she was just like, <laughs> come to find out months later, I knew she was no longer working there. A new person was on my route. And she was actually, I think, the co-owner. And she said, 
I know who you're talking about because we were we were laughing about it. And she said she came back and told us this is the word. She told us. She told oh, us you said hello to her and kept speaking. And they were like, and I was like, I told her not to talk to me. Come to find out the lady was battling cancer. So it was, wow. I knew I was just like, it's not for I don't know what she's going through. She must really be having a crappy day or crappy days. And even though I was having them, I was like, something's going on. And she had it worse. It was her second, she, her cancer went away and it came back. Wow. So, you know, and I was just like, that's why, that's why it was in you to that day to just smile at her and not tell her about herself. Cause she was going through yeah. something that she had no experience in. Yeah, we, we think about our own, you know, your, your mortality, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, it was funny, though. I told my family I just was not her having cancer, but her reaction, because I just had never, I was like, this is a customer service thing, and you, you have no reason to speak to me. <laughs> I, I had to give it to her. It made me laugh that day. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it, it that, that's, you know, that that's the, uh, the great thing, like, we can, we can, we can learn from the, uh, all these things man how we how we grow how we mature you know our maturation is is um is predicated on us um one seeing ourselves and then seeing others you know what i mean because you have you have to see yourself if you don't if you don't see yourself in a lot of this mess that we're going through you man and when i say see yourself like you know not i'm I'm not only talking about empathy but i'm talking about seeing yeah, seeing me for seeing my deeds, seeing what I'm mm -hmm. I'm doing, like how I'm handling this. Like I have to see me. And um a lot of times, you know, we don't see ourselves. You know, we just see, you know, how I'm offended. I can't believe that you and all that. And 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 you know, mm -hmm. un un unfortunately, you know, um, you know, we we I mean, but, but by the grace of God, we learn. By, yeah. by the grace of God, we yeah. And it's yeah. humbling because I remember I think we had a conversation. I'm not sure if I said it last time about how, um, you know, I don't speak to a lot of my family. And one of them is my brother. And mm. because of a certain situation that happened, I ended up and I, I, I punished his wife for something that he had nothing to do with. You know, like I didn't go to their wedding because of him. And I didn't see, but I didn't see myself. I didn't see us. Hmm, how's this going to make her feel? How that I didn't show it, you know, what if, what if, you know, I'm about to be her new sister. You know, I didn't see it that way until we had a conversation, you know, but you have, yeah. you have to take that out and be like, because sometimes it's not always, even though you're wrong or you feel a certain way, God teaches, yeah. teaches us to just, you know, you no longer, do you want to be in a cage for the rest of your life of anger? No, you just, Hey, yeah. and you gotta sometimes be like, I don't know what was going on with you. Something you you was acting real crazy. I'm just gonna ignore it. I think I told you before when uh, the young lady from Escape, uh, what's her name? Is Tasha Scott? Tasha, yeah, I don't know. Latasha, yeah, Latasha Scott. Well, you know, it, it was a big thing. You know, all over Bravo TV. Yes, mm -hmm. it was on a Praise Hallelujah radio show. But anyway, no, but she was, um, she had came on, you know, with me. And and everybody, I'm getting calls. I'm getting calls from people in the industry. Like, yo, I know you're going to handle that. I'm like, handle what? I can't, you know. And, and, and she's already facing charges, not charges, but, you know, her sister's accusing her from stealing you know, um, Candy Burris is on TV saying what they got to say. And, and, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I'm getting phone calls left and right. I, I, hey, you should, you should do that. You should handle it like this. And that way your numbers will be this or that. I'm like, man, I'm not saying that to this, to this lady. Because they want you to, what, what you want me to, say to bring it up for your benefit, your benefit when she and her family are really going through something. Yeah. That's not you. Get down like that. I just want folks to know that you know, uh, I'm going to love them. I'm going to love them because I already know if I say anything out of pocket, God going to have me apologize anyway. And I always wonder people when I say that, they look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, so the Lord don't deal with you <laughs> about, about your conduct? I'm like, come Let on. I'm like, <laughs> yes. 
Me, I will lay you out. And then very quickly, I'm, like, oh, I'm so sorry. This is yeah, why I know, I right? Yeah. I will. I'll be like, I'm like, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I did it, you know, and it, it was uncalled for. Yeah, yeah. After you done got it all out, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's that's yeah, that's that's the human thing in us, man. We just but sometimes I just be like, nah, I, I said I ain't got nothing to say to her like that. I talked about her her album, I talked about her her cookbook, and I kept it moving. And she she brought it up four times. She tried to talk about it four times. Matter of fact, I edit I edit maybe like 14 minutes out of that video. I took about wow. 14 minutes out of that video because she was bringing yeah, I I, I didn't want to. I just was like, I was like, hey, it's gonna be all right, you know. What I mean, God got you, you know what I mean. And um, but I didn't want to delve into that. I was like, nah, nah. I think so you did not want to talk there. about it with her because it sounded like she did want to talk about it. But did you not want to talk about it with her because you were on she, air? It's like, well, she thought I was going to talk about it because <laughs> she came in. I can tell by her by her body language. I can tell by how she was a little defensive. Mm -hmm. but I was like, hey, you know, I just override. I'm like, hey, you look beautiful. How you doing today? Look at your hair. You look beautiful. All right, sis, go ahead. And I'm just coming on the, on the brother vibe. You know what I mean? Like, all right, we're going to do this. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm like, I'm so appreciative of you doing a gospel album because you got an awesome voice. And she keep trying to, like, you know, get that in about it. I'm like, mm -mm, nope. I don't want to talk. I'm not, I'm not talking about because I, I already know you're hurt by it because it's embarrassing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Somebody is on TV saying that you stole money from them and it's your family. But I'm like, no, I'm here to be your brother. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You know, I wasn't there. You know and who I look like? Perry Mason. I mean, come on now. If that's too low, well, I, I should say somebody young. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I, that's what that's what I'm there to be. I'm not I'm not there for all that. People mm -hmm. did the same thing with me. I told you before, with, um, with, uh, Pastor Criflo Dollar. The first time he came on with me, they was like, "Yo, man, you should tell him about why he asked this for money for this and this, and you should tell him." I was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa." Because, you know, at the first time he came on was when he did the thing, the whole jet incident was going on. I was like, I, I oh, ain't got to do with that. You got, you got to slow your road, sir. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I, I, I don't have anything to do with that. I was uh, I was more concerned with the fact that he was a black man who brought on Mike Brown and talked to Mike Brown's family when a cop had killed Mike Brown. And, and mm -hmm. that was the great thing that I saw because I didn't see any people standing up for the black community um, when things are done wrong to us. I didn't see no one in, in Christendom, you know, they talk about welfare. They get on TV and talk about welfare. They'll get on TV and talk about who is that, but they won't talk about, they won't talk about rifles. They never talk about mm -hmm. rifles. So it lets me know where your money is or where your interest lies, you know? Um, so I was just like, I was just appreciative that Creflo Dollar said that. And so I, you know, um, I wanted to talk to him. And he, he gave me and he, he gave me a, he did me a solid and came on and now and now you know as I say he's about to come on again he's just busy right now but he's about to come on again for a third time you know, only a fourth time but um because his wife came on with it with us too so I'm happy about it so we but just that's because you didn't, you didn't do what other people wanted you to do or producer you didn't go in and just embarrass him and tear them apart it's just like you no know, we got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. And, and how do you expect to grow out of that? I mean, if for, forget forget the numbers, right? Forget the numbers game, because I don't I don't do the numbers game with, on 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 these on these platforms. I really don't. Mm -hmm. And um, and I have awesome guests on, like like I have Casey on. So, you know what I mean. So basically, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Thank I have you. awesome guests. But my whole thing is, I I don't do the I don't do the numbers game. My son actually scared me. He just walked by me. Oh my god! <laughs> he just—I was like, you know, it's dark down here, boy. But, um, uh, <laughs> but, the, but the whole thing is that I don't do the whole thing with the numbers, but people's, you know, uh, you you do a certain thing and and, and tear somebody down and it makes your numbers shoot up. Uh, yeah. but you're not bashing <laughs> someone, so they're coming on. You're not playing into the numbers thing because don't when you do to you bash them. I had this. I'm just gonna tell you this one time. I really, when I when I bash someone or I do those types of things, or you say I 
get this feeling over me that is horrible. Like, I'm like, wow, I just, I just talked to that person like that. I was in college. I was in college. And this is when I really started to realize something wasn't right. And I had to get in touch with God. And I ended up going, it was, you know, when you go into a parking space, you go into a parking space and you cut too close. So you're going to hit the car. So I had to back up. Well, there was, I was in college and there was a line of cars and the other cars realized what I was doing. One car decided to pull up and wasn't going to let me because I guess they wanted the spot. And instead of me just, you know, being patient and just wait, I felt the need to like scream, curse them out. I got out my car. You know, and it was after I got in the car, my dad's like, you okay? And I was like, I gotta go. He's like, why? And I was like, I gotta go. And I was so embarrassed with myself. And I just started crying because I was like, that's that's not God, that's the devil. To get out and to, you know, over a parking space. Yeah, but but, but yeah, well, road rage is, is real. That that stuff is real. It, it, come, it comes out a lot of us, you know? We, we... Man. My twin is the worst. My twin, you will be in the car with her, and you, I mean, I it's like a different person. It's a different person, the things that come out of her mouth. Man. And I feel like, yeah. chill out. Chill out. My mother cannot stand driving with her. Yeah, my, my, I have a brother like that. He uh, he does a lot. I'm like, dude, you can't even fight. Now you. <laughs> you <go. laughs> How you how you barking when you can't eat whole hands, man? It's the perception. It's the perception. Listen, I got through all of high school because people thought I was cuckoo. And I didn't, and I was like, they were like, oh no, don't play with her. And I'm like, I got it's the perception. Amen. Oh yeah. I I know how that go, man. I said, man, oh man. Man, I, I um, but you know, uh I, I'm just so uh you know, I just want people to know that if these things happen to you, man, you just got to turn to God and say, hey, look, look, God. and just just do things on the spot. I think we make everything into a religious episode, you know, instead of just saying, all right, Lord, help me and let God help me. We want to go because I think we want to we like to tell like story, like illustrious stories. And we like and God had me over here for 40 days and I was fasting and I was praying. I was I was like, Negro, stop. <laughs> You wasn't doing that. You wasn't doing that. Yeah, you wasn't fast no forty days. <laughs> you can't even remember you know what you were doing days ago. No, but 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 the thing is, is that and 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 I'm and I'm not making light of of the things of God. I'm really not. I, I'm just saying with us like yo. My what I'm really trying to say is just handle it. Just be like, Lord, help me out, Lord. I, I, I. See, we think when. We got to do a lot in order for the Lord to forgive us. But he has already forgiven us. Forgiven. He wants us to confess our sins so we know that we acknowledge it so we can see our ways and that we can grow. So mm -hmm. when we do that, and, and also to apologize, because it, what it does, it, it crucifies your flesh. Apologizing to people crucifies your flesh. Um, acknowledging your sin crucifies your flesh. You know what I mean? So people say, well, all you do is say sorry all the time. All you do, so what? Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep going. Keep apologizing. Keep going. Then go the extra mile next time. If, if it do it, then do something that hurts your flesh. You know what I mean? Go in your pocket and do something for them. You know what I mean? Yeah, go the extra mile. Say, Lord, help me. Lord, you know, you know, put put your, you know, just really ask the Lord to help you. To, that way your 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 flesh can just be uh crucified. Because the, the, the flesh tries to do whatever it wants to do and when it wants to do it. You know, I mean, <laughs> flesh wars, man. But you know, you know, what, what, what time? We it's eight sixteen. So I told you I was watching Chimp Empire, and in Chimp Empire, it's on Netflix, guys. In Chimp Empire, you have two teams, two chimpanzee teams that basically are at war for territory, and the mm -hmm. alpha, the alpha of the central. He gets really hurt and he just finished having a battle with the other one and he knows he's getting ready to, to die and he doesn't want to show he doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of his, his tribe 
So he goes off into the woods to die himself. And he's struggling. You can see it. And you know what God did? God brought one of his old, his rivals that they just went to battle. And he was like, I don't want you to die alone. I don't like you, but I don't want you to die alone. And he sat there with him until he passed. And it's like, so my thing is that if animals can do that, we as Christians, we as humans can show that type of mercy and grace. Amen. Amen. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, God will use almost anything as a, as a tool for us to learn. Mm -hmm. And you're so right. That that's, uh, that's beautiful. Showing, um, chimps that that's true if you ever watch their lives and how they you know even how they, they they coexist and everything like you know as families um i've seen a dad knock one of the little ones in the head and the mom pulled their clothes and held it in his arm and just kept eating her little fruit by her hands i was like lord they look just like people <laughs> but you get you get and and we all call you know animals instinctive you know what i mean they don't you know they don't have you know thinking properties like human like yes they do yes they do <laughs> even tells us that we see nature and we and and we're gleaning we see the kingdom we see god's creation we know it's god because we we see um we see empathy and compassion even amongst their own but yeah that's the, but when it comes to us we sometimes struggle with the very thing that we long for personally we want this but I just don't want you to have it. <laughs> I want to have it. You know, I want people to be, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, Casey, you're my buddy, man. I appreciate you. You know, you persevere with me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Everybody who's uh, Thank you for having me on again. Tune in to the Praise Lee Radio Show every Saturday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon at gtimeradio.com or 92.9 FM. God bless Brother D, Sister A. Jesus loves you for real. The blessing of Abraham upon your life. God bless you.